How you doing everybody? It's me, Max Ferro from DexEffectsMarkets.com and we're here in this segment uh, to learn how to access our VPS server that you just purchased from us at DexWebTools.com. If you didn't purchase it from us, I can't guarantee the same results of how to access and where everything is at. And of course, uh, if anything does go wrong with your server or system or if it goes down, us at DexWebTools can't help you at that point. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here to our Windows search bar on our computer and we're going to start typing in remote and you'll see as soon as you start typing the word remote remote desktop connection app every single windows 10 server its system has this now so you'll easily be able to find it okay i'm going to delete this example in here this is how you should see it uh, when you first get here okay so what we're going to need at this first we're going to have to have the computer computer connection and that's the ip IP address of the computer. If you don't know where that is, that's going to be on your screen on your hosting. If you don't remember how to get here, if you've already clicked away, I'm going to go back to uh, my products here, kind of go from, from that position. We're going to go down to servers. We're going to go to your server that you just purchased. You're going to click on manage. From this position, as soon as you click on manage, it's going to bring you to dashboard up here. If you can kind of see up here, dashboard, monitoring, backups, recovery console, or settings. We want settings. Once the settings pop, pop up here, we easily can kind of see our server name, our host name, our IP address, and of course, our login credentials. Now, you can't see the password, so you got to remember what the password is. And you can manage that simply by pressing on manage to manage your admin access. Okay, first thing we're going to do. Go back to remote server again, remote server, remote desktop connection. And you're going to take this IP address, highlight it, right click it and copy or control C. I keep kicking that connection out of there. You're then going to come up here. This is what it should look like for you. And you're going to hit control V or right click and paste. And that's going to put that same IP address there. Now it says username not specified. So we need to click show options. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring it down to here to show the options. And what we have to do here is now we need the credential names for here. And this is for me that. Okay. And I'm going to hit. Now it says, allow me to save the credentials. And you want to do that. You want to click, make sure that that's clicked on. All right. And hit connect. And what it's going to do is going to give you your admin login credentials here. And now you need to put in the password that you put in when signing up. Now, if you've done everything correctly, it's going to give you this identifying remote cannot uh, be verified. You want to still continue anyway. And this is just a certificate issue until you get over to the server. Uh, you can just click in. Don't ask me again for this connection uh, because you trust it because you know who they are. Us. And you're going to hit yes. And as you can kind of see, we're popping in here. Almost looks like a regular desktop on your home computer, doesn't it? That's what it is should only take a couple seconds to get started and get everything up. It's like the first time you're booting up a computer. Okay. It says, do you want to allow your PC to be discovered by other PC devices on this network? Say no. Okay. Now that you have a few things set up, it has a PowerShell on it and all that kind of good stuff. You're going to come up here and you're just going to click off of this box here. There's also, I have to kind of bring the uh, manager down here so you can see it. Now, I kind of restarted here just for a quick second because I wanted to make sure I had my entire screen so you could see it. I want to explain a few things. So this little blue bar up here that has your IP address works as like almost like a window. If I grab onto this blue bar, I can pull down. And I don't know if you could see my other actual home desktop now there. And this is considered my um, virtual desktop my virtual PC so as I open that up if I want to minimize it I can minimize it and it'll be back down in the tray with this little icon as you can kind of see down here right there like that uh, just go right there okay this server manager box doesn't really make too much of a difference I'm just going to click X off of there and close it out now I'm left with this very open wide uh, desktop um, with really nothing too much let me pop that up there like that Really not a lot to do there, right? But it works the same as having 
your home PC on. Now, in the next videos, we're going to show you how to install the Zedon to get it onto the system, make sure you got a web browser, all, all that kind of good stuff, uh, and we'll get some things going here for you, okay? Um, that's basically it on how to get and access to your remote server. Now, once you're finished, you just click off close and you can close out the entire thing. It's going to ask you to kill your uh, remote access. But if you want to go back to it again, if you've done everything right, you can click on remote server or sometimes it's already in there. And there it is. If you have multiples, you can switch between the two like I have. Um, but I'm just going to hit connect and go it and it should bring it right back up. And there it is. OK, so I'm going to leave the screen open for now. When we come back, I'm actually going to show you how to install uh, the next uh, segment here for your uh, 2.5 Zedon. <music>